Hello, today we are at the dressage final. I don't know how I qualified. I am not the best at dressage. Um, but here we are. I'm feeling I'm feeling a bit nervous. Um, I feel a bit out of place at these competitions. I feel like I'm not quite as good as everyone else and also Clyde's always the only like fell pony here. Like it's always like these big event horses and it's just me and Clyde so um I do always feel a little bit nervous. So we're doing a novice test today and because I've had so much on this one, I've practiced it like twice and I've got I've literally learned it in the car. So um, so yeah, if I forget my test, then that's why. Uh, the test, the actual test itself isn't that hard. It's just, it's quite difficult to remember because it's like loads of different twists and turns and stuff. Uh, but it's indoors, which is fantastic because Clyde goes so much better indoors. I don't know why, but he loves it and it's I like it too. So I'm very happy that it's indoors. That gives us a fighting chance. <laughs> and yeah the only issue is we're at like the bottom of the arena so he might be quite like poking his head a bit because he'll be excited um so yeah that's basically oh i need to do my hair in a bun uh that's the gist of it i'm a bit nervous and i i'm most worried that i'll forget my test if i can remember my test and clyde goes like at a decent speed then i'm happy like i don't care what place we get i'm not bothered that's all i want <laughs> and yeah, so I'm just getting my stuff on now. I've not done any dressage this year yet, so hopefully that won't be a disaster. <laughs> who, who knows? So I'm actually, I've just left school now. So I have like a week left technically, but like we don't really count it. So I basically am done school so I can actually do lots more vlogs. I can do, I'm going to try and do two a week and like for most weeks and we're gonna do much more exciting stuff as well instead of just being like oh yes we're going to schooling in the field today you know like it'll be more exciting vlogs so please subscribe and be excited for that um but yeah i am just getting myself ready now i made the clever decision of wearing a white jacket today so i'm not sure how that will work and i just need to get my show jacket and stuff on and yeah i think that's all i've got to say like it's nice and clean I do know my test. I'm really, I find it really easy to learn them. It's just I get a bit mixed up sometimes when I'm panicking. So I need to kind of keep my cool to remember this. So, hopefully I'm okay. And probably won't update you now until after we're done because, you know, I need to go and warm up and then I'm, I'm on in like less than an hour now. And yeah, I'll give you a little debrief after of how it went. Hopefully I won't be in tears. <laughs> Okay, this is my like live reaction to seeing this. I've not watched my test over yet. He did. He had a really nice trot coming in. Clyde always goes better in the indoor arena for some reason. He just seems to like it a lot more. But um, the judges were literally right there, like sitting there. You'll probably be able to see them at one point. Yeah, there. So I could kind of hear sometimes, like when I was at the top, I could hear what scores they were giving me, um, which was really interesting. But Clyde was definitely going quite nice. I think he looks really good here and Laura Meters doing the photos, which is great because Laura's amazing. So I'm excited to see the photos as well. Um. So yeah, this was our first two circles. I think they were a little bit lazy, but Clyde is always dead lazy on circles. And then we, we didn't really hit B there. We just kind of missed it. Um. And then down at this corner, he kept like trying to drift like into the middle of the arena. So it wasn't, we kind of cut the corner a little bit, but um, he is moving quite nicely here. I'm didn't even hit the marker there either normally I'm really good for hitting the marker that was a really messy transition to walk um but we did the two to five steps okay I don't actually know what scores I got for everything because I didn't have time to get my score sheet on the way out so this is me just kind of basing it off how I think like I didn't turn nicely there at all um I was dead nervous about forgetting this part of the test so I just tried to kind of remember it as different shapes and it did work I did actually remember the test um thankfully but yeah that was a messy turn there I always think it doesn't actually look quite as bad when I'm watching it back as it felt but it felt horrible when I did that bit and that bit it felt like Clyde was like had his head right up but he really wasn't that bad there um, that circle was okay, but he was kind of flicking his head about a bit and there as well. I'm not sure. No, that was just, it was just quite messy <laughs> there. Um, and then I think it's cantering up here. So we're, we're going too slowly right now, but I didn't want to like kick him 
like right in front of the judge <laughs> so um I just kind of sat there until we're past through but lazy and our counter transition was very messy but it normally is in the left drain I think I don't know why it looks like our bridle number is about to fall off um I don't know maybe that's just me <laughs> so that was our first circle I had to give and retake the rain there so he did not too bad because he didn't like poke his head up or anything uh but I didn't have time to practice to give and retake the rain before today so uh before yesterday when I was competing so I didn't really know how it was going to go it went okay and then this is when we had to turn up the free set the free quarter line and I think it was okay like it our trot steps were a bit like all over the place but he kept pretty straight considering we had to like go up the three quarter line and canter which we'd not done very many times and then this is about we're always rubbish at the free walk on a long rain and Clyde always puts his head right up he'd never because he wants to see what everyone else is doing because there was like three arenas in this one arena so there was two other horses doing tests at the same time as me um so he was like just having a wee look at what they were doing basically which he normally does but um I didn't want to be like you know like trying to get him to put his head down when he just wasn't going to at all and then this was when we just had to do medium walk our medium walk's normally a little bit lazy but I think it actually looks okay here um it definitely felt much slower than it looks but he's actually going quite nicely like I think he's moving his uh, legs quite nicely um in this video and we look quite smart as well I can't tell if I hit the marker there or not. It might just be in the video, but it looked like I hit it too early. Um, and then this is the second canter here. So Clyde starts to get a little bit tired by this point, and I was probably tired too, but I was probably just relieved that I could remember the test. I just, <laughs> I look so angry at the, that part of the video, but I'm not. That's just my concentration face. Uh, I promise I am happy. I need to try and smile more during my dressage test, so. But yeah, our bridal numbers definitely looks like it's about to fall off, and... Um, Clyde's going well though it's really hard to keep Clyde in canter on a circle because he just doesn't so um at least he didn't break pace that's all I can say and then oh, a little flick of the tail there we cut our corner completely there but it didn't look too bad in the video so hopefully the judges didn't think it was too bad either and then up the three quarter line as well and back to trot there yeah see our trot steps are just a bit unbalanced when we come back to trot but we haven't had that much practice of doing a three quarter line transition so he did pretty well and he cut his corner there which was very messy but that was my fault and then to finish we had to half circle down and this was the most gutting part because Clyde halts square every single time I ask him but I just didn't half halt quite soon enough so then my halt was too rushed and he only halted square with his front feet which was quite sad but it looks pretty square in that and it wasn't really that bad there he is this is all we have for treats that's pathetic i know Clyde, it's rubbish yeah we're done i remember the test um but yeah he was a really good boy not the best test we've ever done it was a bit uh messy <laughs> and i don't think we even hollied square at the end which we always hold square so that was kind of bad um, but I remembered the test and Clyde wasn't lazy, so that's kind of all I can ask. And that's what I'm happy with, so well done Clyde. So we're going to eat crumpets now. Yeah. <laughs> He's enjoying his chin rub. This has been the last uh, 10 minutes. I don't know what he's doing, um, but it looks like we might be a while before we go to the beach. He keeps jumping the holes as well. He, he doesn't really ever do this, actually. <laughs> but um, today's clearly the exception to that rule. So... Clyde, stop! Okay. <laughs> What's the point? While we're walking to the beach, I thought I would give you a quick voiceover of how we placed yesterday and our placing was not a placing. <laughs> we did not get placed yesterday. However, I was quite happy with Clyde's test. I think we ended up coming like 11th or something, so it wasn't the best, but um, I, I was pleased with Clyde and I don't think we could have done much better. And yeah, that's, that's basically this update. Just to let you know that we didn't get placed, but Clyde was a good boy and I was happy. So now you can enjoy our beach ride. Digging for 
as us done. I look bald from this angle, but um, yes. So for the next uh, like six to eight months, basically, I'm gonna be doing two videos a week instead of one now, which is great because um, I have so much free time because I'm basically out of school now. I am going to start doing TikTok as well, which I keep holding off because it's not my favourite app, <laughs> but um, I'm going to do it. So for my TikTok, I think it'll probably be called Katie Trotter, but I'm not really sure. I keep switching between Katie Trotter and The Felt Pony. So yeah, follow it and thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one and comment any suggestions of videos you want to see as well. Bye.